When I entered the stable, the sun was already setting, and it was like the room was bathed in golden light. The rays found their way through the dusty windows, and a slight shimmer of mist made the impression mysterious. Welcome to the To Be Is Enough podcast. In this light, the stable was a magical place. I stopped and stood there in awe. And then I saw it, shimmering green and huge. It was flying around as if it wanted to enjoy the rest of the sun. Quickly, and yet somehow calmly, it flew from the light into the shadows, nimbly. Yeah, and back into the light. A huge dragonfly flew around the stable. A perfect moment. So I watched it as if in a dream and suddenly, without thinking about it, I had the urge to raise both arms as if I could fly myself, as if... I was spreading my wings. I slowly moved forwards towards it, both arms wide open. It changed direction and came straight towards me. My heart began to pound in my ears with excitement, with joy, and I was a little bit afraid. It was really huge completely precise. It seemed to turn on a dime in the air and then landed under my palm. It was longer than my entire hand and so it seemed to be hanging there overhead watching me while it took a break. I stood completely still and hardly dared to breathe. It was a bit scary feeling how this big animal was hanging under my hand. And the next moment, it just let go to continue the hunt. It moved through the room with incredible ease, turning whenever necessary. Quick changes of direction seemed to be so easy. And as I watched it, I thought, Isn't it perfect? Moving through life the way the dragonfly does. To be completely attentive to the moment and change direction when necessary. Hadn't I just surrendered to the situation myself and spread my arms to offer the dragonfly a place to land? What do we need to be like that in life? What do I need to trust life, that I can just surrender to the moment and do what is needed right now, not to plan everything in advance, but to stay relaxed in my knees so that I can react to life when it's needed, to follow the signs that show up in my life. I see a lot of signs that show the way, the direction, or a warning. They may interrupt an action if it's not on the right path for me, if it's not authentic, if it does not come from my heart. What if I trust life enough to open my arms and show that I want to be part of this moment, that I'm ready to surrender? Whatever you want, life, I'm in. I'm willing to do and be what is required in this moment. When I spread my wings, I make myself visible, and that can be scary. Many of us have learned that making ourselves visible is not a good thing. Maybe we've been hurt or restricted. Reactions of others showed us that we shouldn't take up so much space. Maybe there was an experience in your life where you realized 
that you are not important enough to take up space and show yourself in your full glory. Maybe someone told you that you are too much or not good enough, not perfect or selfish. And yet, I believe it's time. Time to remember that you are the perfect expression of life. There are no mistakes in nature, so you can't be one. You have to spread your wings for life to notice that you want to participate. Let's take a deep breath and stand up, show ourselves in our full glory and beauty. And if you spread your arms to show life that you are ready to receive, you will realize that nothing bad will happen. That life jumps in and offers you experiences in which you can show your uniqueness even further. Life will support you and the people who may have restricted you throughout your life will become fewer and fewer. They will just vanish. And your trust in life will grow. The fear of visibility and the fear of being immediately punished for having the audacity to show yourself in your full glory will dissipate. It will be replaced by joy, curiosity and excitement. You will be able to enjoy your own creativity that shows up in the present moment to surprise you. Your own unique way of being. Maybe you will still remember the moments in which you didn't dare. But the others will prevail. Because you have agreed to give something. To give yourself into the present moment. We are here to give it our all. And I wish you and me and everyone who hears this now that they are ready to do that, to give it all. Thank you for listening and have a beautiful day. When the wheel is turning I see where's the light Befriending not knowing a spark in a night what's up and what's drowning what's left and what's right away what I'm sowing when I go far and feel